I'm staying up. I'm wilding out. I'm leaning in. Hey, what's up guys? Pallab here from nothingwire.com and November is finished, but I still haven't got the time to shave off yet. So you'll have to bear with my, well, beard. So today we're talking about the Gioni S Plus, the latest Gioni offering. This guy cost just over 17,000, the MRP at least, and it has a 5.5 inch screen, uh, HD screen, you have a 3150 mAh battery and your um, the octa-core processors and 3GB RAM and 16GB internal storage and those kind of package so it's a mid-level mid-range package and we're gonna have an unboxing proper unboxing and a first look at this device so that's the huge box of Gioni S plus nothing very minimalistic box nothing much on the sides so all informations are generally on the back side and of course that's meant to be for Pallab Hazarika that's me anyway so we have the dark blue color and then there's the MRP 17699 but of course you might get it for slightly less online or with your local vendor so some of the quick specs out here you can see 5.5 inch screen HD resolution AMOLED screen now Gioni always put this AMOLED screen into the mid to premium level of phones that's something I really like I love the AMOLED screens over LCDs and Gorilla Glass 3 protection you have a 3150 mAh battery I would be happy with that 13 plus 5 MP camera that's good 3 GB RAM 16 GB ROM and of course it does support a micro SD card should actually although it's not mentioned here 4G 5.1 octa core 1.3 gig dual sims are 4G so both sims support 4G and OTG and whatnot so let's quickly go ahead and peel off this plastic and then do an unboxing There we go. So, on top, that's the one. Plastic, but has an amazing texture. So, the blue model, and you know that it's blue only from some angle because it's, so it's very that metallic tinge. Let's go farther in, and you have the round pin wall adapter which should have an output of 2 ampere okay that's satisfied and then ooh, ooh, it has a C type cable which does mean that this guy has a C type port see so we'll come back to that and then you have your earphones over there those look well decently premium plastic flat wire and you have a silver audio jack, not the golden one. You have the mic and call control. No, achha, you have a volume control here. And then you have uh, this free back cover, free screen guard, and then some paperwork, warranty and quick start guide, and that's the huge battery. You know, 3150 mAh battery. So that's the content of the box. So that's the S Plus. It's very plasticky but looks brilliant and consumer friendly. So let's go ahead and take this off. Oh. Yeah, that's the 5.5 inch screen, HD screen. And I suppose it would be a fingerprint magnet as well. And then your front camera, shortcut keys and those are the ports and stuff. So the highlight definitely is the C-Type port here which should be much faster than a USB 2.0 uh, port but it's not very prevalent so you have to carry your C-Type uh, you know um, at least the USB uh, cable. These All these buttons are also plastic and then that's the back. It's glossy, Atrex fingerprints, the 13 MP camera, single LED flash. There's no hole to open the back flip. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my hole on the C type port uh, it's okay and then that's the battery 3150 mAh battery dual sim card slot that's sim 2 sim 1 so to be able to remove to uh, to be able to insert or remove sim 1 you need to remove the battery but not for the sim 2 and then space for your micro SD card as well it, it's a big device and also there is Something else so that's the speaker grill and then you have see this little two bumps so that 
it does not prevent the sound from coming out whenever you place this device on a flat surface so we have to test that during our full review but for now it looks good big device plasticky feeling so that's the display it's bright but when you have the auto brightness on i have seen it's not very bright so the auto brightness i think is kind of you know trying to save battery more than giving you that brightness it's see now it's adequately bright of course it's in full brightness mode so under sunlight possibly you'll have to go to the full brightness mode but when you give or when you put it into the adaptive brightness i just see uh, the screen kind of dimming just a tad more than i would have liked so we'll go to about phone and 5.1 that's brilliant and fine and then yeah you can see advanced settings where i can go to maybe storage sort of 16 gb you have 9.34 gb available not much space and then let's go to apps what do we have here so out of 3 gb ram 2.1 gb is free that's very good so of course this guy has amigo ui on top of your usual android lollipop and that means that there is no dedicated app drawer and you have the usual google apps and then a few third party apps plus a lot of in house apps see so you have game zone and you have in house apps and tools like those chameleons system manager and file explorer and those kind of stuff and then some third party apps as well see let's go to the camera good and then that's the video with we'll catch the sensor into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio yeah and start the video recording from here take still from here can i pause do yeah. that's the still and those are some of the settings that's the front camera does not lag much to a bit it's bright enough though and then you have some shooting modes here professional magic focus and those kind of stuff so we're going to uh, test the camera in depth along with the performance and the user interface of the Gioni S plus till then please stay tuned guys that's an unboxing and first look of the Gioni of the Gioni S plus thank you